Alright, so what's going on on my audio is new, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And I, yes, I know you've seen the title on the thumbnail, and yes, I have made this kind of video before on the channel, it, it, literally the commands are right next to each other. I have made a zombie kill counter before, however, when I did make that video, you can see that I did it with five commands, however, I have now knocked it down to three. I know there's two command blocks there, but there's one over there that relevates to this. So you can see that I now have knocked the command blocks from five down into three. And this, and I realised with the other zombie kill counter, it's probably still going to get loads more views in this one because it's at the time of me making this, it has over 1,000 views, and um, it's probably going to still get loads more views in this version of the video. However, I realised that that video does work. It's just this one is a lot cleaner and it definitely works a lot better. So it's actually a mob kill counter, but once again, I am using the zombies as an example uh, because it is easier to do. So if I change, quickly change these uh, commands to impulse unconditional needs redstone because I forgot to last time. Um, I forgot to when I was setting up the commands, um, and then I keep this one uh, repeat. So I'm going to show you how to, how it works exactly, and then I we are going to uh, then I'm going to show you the commands. So if I change the sidebar to zombie kills, here we go. If I change the sidebar to zombie kills, you can see I have 2,030. Um, I can do this in creative. I don't really need to change the survival. Why did I type in creative in the? Uh, I'm so tired. Okay, I actually do have a sharpness five sword here and then i need to put looting on it because um because i definitely want to guarantee myself rotten flesh i'll explain why in a second if you haven't watched my last video so i put looting on it and then if i get a zombie egg which is in momentary here as well right so if i spawn in a zombie here and i attack the z zombie and i kill it you can see that every now and then on the right hand side the kills will go up you can see that only happens every now and then it doesn't happen exactly after every single kill um but this is the me best method uh you are going to get um for the zombie kill counter and um, from what i have seen so you've got the rough idea i don't really have to show it um exactly you can just see that every time i kill a zombie my zombie kills goes up but sometimes it doesn't happen this is due because this command is through the use of rotten flesh and zombies don't always drop rotten flesh even if you do have a looting free diamond sword i have tried to figure out other ways to make the zombie kill counter um through xp and stuff but then i just figured out the xp would just like work for other items as well so this is the best method i could find so firstly you're going to need this command over here and then uh this isn't actually to make the system happen. This is just a repeat unconditional always active command. And it's slash clear at all rotten underscore flesh. You do need this command because through the use of rotten flesh, it makes the rotten flesh drop onto the floor and um, and it gives you the item. But if you have rotten flesh in your inventory, you can constantly throw it down. It will give you the rotten flesh back and it will also give you a uh, zombie kill in the process. So if you don't want people to constantly spam this and get unlimited zombie kills, you want to make it so it clears the rotten flesh. Not exactly sure what you're going to use that for anyways. If you are using it through currency, you can just use a scoreboard. So rotten flesh isn't exactly needed anyways. So just make it so it clears rotten flesh from everyone's inventories so they can't cheat the system. So now the actual commands on how to make the zombie kill counter. So you only need a repeat unconditional always active command. And this is execute at E, type equals item, name equals rotten flesh. So it's executing for an item on the ground with the name as rotten flesh. Squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. Execute at P in the radius of six and count of one. Squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. So count of one is one player. Scoreboard players add at P zombie kills one. So it detects for the rotten flesh on the floor and it detects for, detects for one player in the radius of six of this rotten flesh. Once it does do this, it will add the scoreboard of zombie kills, which is my scoreboard that I've set up, to one. As you can see on the side there, it gives the scoreboard of 1. However, if I do not add a command that kills the rotten flesh as soon as it drops on the floor, then people are just going to be able to stand next to it and constantly get zombie kills, which would just be cheating the system, wouldn't it? So that is why you will need this chain command, which is right here. And it is chain unconditional needs redstone. Oh no, sorry, chain unconditional is active. And it says slash execute at E. Type equals item, name equals rotten flesh. So once again, it's executing for an item on the ground of rotten flesh. Squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. Execute at P once again in a radius of six and one player, so count of one. Squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. Kill at E, name rotten flesh, radius of six, count of one. So it's executing for the name uh, for one rotten flesh on the ground, and it's executing for a player in that radius. Once it does this, it will kill the rotten flesh, but only one rotten flesh because it's a count of one. You only want it to kill itself, so it'd be the rotten flesh that's on the ground. So if there's two rotten fleshes next to each other, the rotten flesh on the left would kill itself, and the rotten flesh on the right would also kill itself. So it's just so people can't like glitch the system, and the system can't be broken. 
this is a very easy command. I really, I just, um, why I saw it down there is because I was checking how long my last video was. It was over 10 minutes and it took a lot more commands than this one. And this one is definitely a lot easier to do. But yeah, that's about it for the video really. I hope you did all enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smack that like button. Um, it lets me know that I am helping you. And this is just a better method of the zombie kill counter. Not sure if it's going to get as many views as my last one. Um, but, you know, hopefully this does get more views because this is the actual better working method. Um, but most of my zombie kill, my mob kill counter videos uh, have been found through the kill counter, which has now come out on my channel, but I don't know how it's doing since I'm still in January and that came out in February. So, yeah, I am, I have got a lot of videos scheduled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but anyways, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here. It uh, lets me know that you are enjoying my content and that you want to see more. Let me just change these here to, I'm pretty sure that was repeat, wasn't it? Or was it chain? I don't know, I'll sort it out after. I think it was repeat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll check back on my last video. Subscribe if you are new around here. It lets me know that you are enjoying um, my content. And it lets me know that you do want to see more. Have this ongoing, rapidly growing community. And join the insane army. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I upload at 7.45pm GMT whenever I do upload a video. So definitely, definitely do not miss out on that. Um, we have, I have some quality content coming up in the future. And I feel like you are all going to enjoy the videos. Hit, um, comment down below what you want to see next week for the video. Any other ideas for videos you'd like to see on the channel? Any other command videos? Any other mini game videos? Anything to do with Minecraft? Let me know down below. I may be starting a survival series soon. I'm not really sure if I want to though. But if you do want to see that, then just like the video and I'll know. Um, I'll comment down below and I'll know. But yes, thank you all for watching. This was the zombie kill counter. Have a great day for never watching this. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one and goodbye.